not an action camera, not a web camera. This is a 360 camera, and it might just change the face of content. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, you're watching Gadget Match, and today we unbox, set up, and go hands-on with the Samsung Gear 360. Last February at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, no other than Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg was on hand to launch the device, promising Facebook would be a platform for this kind of content. The Gear 360 ships in this cylindrical package. Let's open it up. First thing you'll see is the Gear 360 itself. First impressions? It feels sturdier than other 360 cameras we've held. Also inside the package, you'll find a felt carrying pouch, leather strap, USB cable, no charger, lens cleaning cloth, battery, and quick start guides. You know, one thing I love about the Gear 360 is that it comes with a mini tripod that doubles as a handle. You can pull out each leg like this to prop up the camera on a flat surface. You unscrew it like this, and this is a standard tripod mount so you can attach it to many other action camera mounts you may already own. The Gear 360 feels like a golf ball. There's a camera on both sides. When you open this flap, you'll find space for a battery and micro SD card. There's also a micro USB port for charging the device. Microphones are scattered around the device. The NFC touch point is over here. The Gear 360 has three buttons, back slash power, connectivity slash menu, and up top record. The LCD display is also on top of the device. The Gear 360 is compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, Note 5, S7, and the S7 Edge. Press this button to power it up and tap the back of your compatible Samsung phone against the NFC logo on the device. You'll be prompted to download the Gear 360 app. Once installed, launch the app. Press the connection button on the Gear 360 and then back on your phone, tap the device name. Agree to the conditions and you're good to go. Now that both devices are paired, look for the Gear 360 icon on the bottom right hand side of your screen to connect your phone to the camera. This is the default view. You can see what both lenses see. If you tap on mode, you can switch between photo, video, or time-lapse mode. Shooting a video is like this. We're here outside Commune Cafe where we're shooting this video. Typically, you should only be able to see me, but with the Gear 360, you can see everyone around the camera. Say hello to Miko and Monch, and even up top. Hi, Jessica. Taking a photo is like this. You tap the shutter icon just like you would on any smartphone camera app. And to preview in 360, tap this icon to stitch the image together. Currently, there are several ways to view your 360 content. On your smartphone, by uploading it to Facebook, or using a VR headset like the Samsung Gear VR. That was cool. Of course, for the complete experience, apart from the Gear 360 camera, you'll also need the Gear VR headset and a high-end Samsung smartphone. The Gear 360 is currently available only in South Korea and retails for about 340 US dollars. But for the complete set, expect to spend over a thousand. Here's the breakdown. And that was our unboxing, how to set up and hands-on with the Samsung Gear 360. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow Gadget Match elsewhere on social media. Plus, don't forget to visit GadgetMatch.com daily. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.